I'm Sarah, and today we're going to do an, an eating show um, for you, and I've got some ramen here, some rice ramen, but it's mullet and brown rice ramen by Lotus Foods, and it's actually really, really good. And then I've got some of these Brazilian bread bites. Can you see those? This is the brand here. They're Chini's cheese bite rolls. They're amazing. So I have a glass of wine because yeah, it's been that week. This is a new this is called New Age. It's delicious and I love it. And right here we've just got some marinara and some mozzarella and some um, Italian cheese blend. And I'm about to put some sriracha on it. Because I love spicy. So these things are my favorite. I'm gonna take a bite of the ramen for you. I can see how good that is. And how not good I am at these chopsticks, but I'm trying. Mm. Mm. I just made that how the sauce packet with the sauce packet for the instructions. It's really, really good. Mm. I'm not good with these chopsticks right now. Struggle. Mm. That's really, really good. Okay, so I'm really excited about these. I love these. What's awesome about these is they're gluten free. So, anybody with a gluten allergy? Can absolutely eat these. And they're kind of stretchy because they're made of like cheese and like what is it? Potato starch, oh, it's tapioca starch, parmesan cheese, eggs, soybean oil, milk, water, and salt. They didn't spill it on the food. Cheers. I am eternally clumsy. Okay, back the important part, the eating. Ugh. Just gonna shove it. And say so this is my favorite thing to do with these. Stuff them with cheese and, cause I like the heat. It's really good. You can really tell that it's bread with just a bunch of cheese in it. But it's not eggy. So you know like how eggy bread can be kind of like you're eating an omelet or something. It's totally not that. And I love the tomato sauce sriracha combination. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I also have water. Because you cannot live on light alone, even though you try. Even though I try. Mm. Mm. It makes this lovely, cheesy, kind of like roasted cheese crunch sound when you break them. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I love cheese so much. Cheese is like my thing. And I can't get enough sriracha and spicy. At all. My dog is down here. She loves these too. Here you go, baby. 
So I've been a lot, watching a lot of these, like eating shows, and I'm totally gonna say it wrong, and I apologize. Mukbang, muk, bang maybe. And I'm finding them really, really satisfying. Like. Say I'm craving pizza, or a big juicy hamburger, or cheesecake. I'll just go, and I'll find one of those mukbangs, eating shows, and then I just watch it. And as I'm watching them eat it, I'm feeling really satisfied. Like I'm sharing in the enjoyment and in the experience of food, of their food. And I really like it. At first I thought it was like, oh that's really just kind of like trendy and just fun. But it's taken a part of like our normal culture, which is like the, the normal cooking shows where they ended up tasting a bit of it at the end to tell you how good it is kind of sell you on the recipe. Skipping all that and going right to the tasty part. That is so good. It's cheese bread with cheese on it. Look at that. It's all cheese. And I like my mozzarella crisp stuff real good, that's why it's not real stringy. And then let it sit for like a minute, so then it becomes like crusty and still chewy and really, really good. Oh, something I didn't say. How I cooked these, these chinis, these, um, this cheese bread, this Brazilian cheese bites. I cooked them in my air fryer because it said you had to like put them in the oven at like 350 for 30 to 35 minutes and I put them in my air fryer at 360 for 15 minutes after I non-stick spray it. You have to non-stick spray it otherwise these will stick all over the place. And then after 15 minutes I flipped them and I was able to fit all of these in there so it's quite a lot minus the ones I've eaten. And I flipped them and then I cooked them for another five minutes. So it only took me 20 minutes in the air fryer, which absolutely, I love the air fryer as a time saver. Mm, oh, it's so good. And that's just the bread. So it kind of, um, Something I do want to know, if you guys don't mind commenting it below and um, you can always subscribe. I'm hopefully going to do, I'm going to, I'm planning on doing more of these. It's like, yeah, you get to eat. So. That is such a good wine. Drink responsibly, 21 and older. Mm. Oh, that was a really good one.
I say she more things you'll learn. Then when I find something really tasty, I do like do a little dance. While I'm eating it, like a weirdo. These are just good. A little garlic butter in them. Oh my gosh. Just eat them by themselves. And they're definitely a treat because they're like 70 calories for one. Just one. That's 70 calories. Worth it. But we are not counting calories, right? That's good. Mm -mm -mm. We have like three bites left. She's old. <clears throat> I'm getting kind of full. I need one more. I don't think I can finish the ramen. Um, I could eat just these. Mm. Last cheesy bite. Mm, my cheese. Just soft. Mm. I'm gonna eat a whole lot. I both love and hate the last bite. Because your stomach, your stomach goes, kind of full of my we should stop before we get uncomfortable. And then we can't sleep. Versus super sad, it's last bite. It's so tasty. Last one. I'm gonna share it with a little laugh. Hola. Hola. Hey, go sweet cheeks. She's 13 years old. Who old? She's an old dog. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my little show eating these Brazilian cheese bites. They're the Chinese. They are amazing. And then I eat a little bit of ramen. I didn't eat as much as I, I should have and that's that brand. And then the wine that I spilled and drank at least one glass. So I'm glad I had enough for at least one whole glass because it's amazing. Best wishes. Bon appetit guys.